Hello students and welcome to another video lecture from Architects Academy Virtual Classroom. So today we are going to learn about uh, what is meant by paneling. So this is going to be plywood paneling which is going to be provided for a room. So let us see the drawing itself. So what you are seeing here is a sort of a meeting room or conference room which is bounded by the four walls and what you see is that just next to the wall we have provided a plywood paneling on all faces of the wall so this paneling has been done in plywood and it has been finished with a veneer finish to give it a nice aesthetical appearance so first let us try to understand why the paneling needs to be done. So the paneling can be done for three reasons. So one of the reasons is that you would like to conceal some of the services which are behind the paneling like for example electrical conduits or pipes or AC pipes or such other things. So that could be one of the reasons. The second reason is that because the plywood is fixed at a certain distance, there is a small gap maintained between the wall and the plywood and that gap can be filled in with insulation and that can serve as a acoustic insulation for the room. That would mean that the room uh, will not have a lot of noise coming in from the outside and also Whatever discussion is going on in the room will also not go out easily through the partition or to the walls. The third important reason is of course because we can provide a sort of a beautiful finish to the paneling like a veneer or a laminate. It will give that room an aesthetical look. So the third reason is more aesthetical in nature. So let us now see how this paneling will be constructed. As we said that this paneling has been made in plywood. So as you can see these are the uh, plywood pieces and these plywood pieces are fixed on a frame and that frame has been made out of timber. So there is going to be a timber frame behind the plywood and that frame will be fixed to the wall. So let us just try to go and see that frame by just turning off certain things in this for example let us say that we uh, remove certain things from this uh, room and now we have the bare room there is a small planter here that also we will remove. So now what we have is a bare room which is going to have this paneling all around it. So if we now try to see what is behind the plywood. So let us try to remove some more layers from this that is let us try to remove the uh, plywood and therefore what you are going to see here is going to be a bare frame which is going to be connected to the wall. So what you are seeing here is a frame which has been screwed into the wall. So this is a teakwood frame as I told you. Now the size of this frame will depend upon how much thickness you require for putting in the insulation. So considering currently in this drawing I have considered a size of 50 mm by 25 mm as the size of the framing. Now you will find that this framing consists of two components. One is the vertical members and the others are the horizontal members. So what you will see is that the horizontal members are aligned to the lintel level then at the bottom at the floor level 
and one at the top at the ceiling level or there could be a false ceiling in that case at the false ceiling level. So this is where the horizontal members have been placed. Now the vertical members have been placed at a distance which is going to be equal to the size of the plywood that is available. So normally what we see is that in the market we get a plywood which is of a size of 1.22 meters this way and 2.44 meters along the height. So therefore we try to provide the uh, vertical members at a distance of half 1.22 so that would be roughly around 610 mm apart. So that would mean that one entire piece of plywood in this case it would be a size of 2.1 meter by uh, 1.22 meter that could be provided here. So like that we will go on uh, placing the vertical members and then at the corners as you can see a little bit of adjustment will be required since the dimensions of the room may not be necessarily in multiples of 610 mm. So at the ends you will require to have some adjustment so the small the panels at the ends would be slightly smaller than the panels they are going to be in the middle. You will also see that at the ends here you are going to provide one member like this on which you can place the plywood you can nail the plywood on this side and then an additional member will be located here because that is going to be required for the plywood which is going to come from this side and it has to be nailed on to this member. So that is where the detail will be at the corner as you can see. So there will be two pieces vertical pieces provided at the corners. Now as I said that this is used as a space where you can provide the insulation. So let us see how that insulation is going to be provided. So if we consider this insulation in between, you can see that this insulation could be in the form of different type of insulation like it could be a glass wool, it could be rock wool, it could be expanded polystyrene or some any, any other type of insulation material which will be filled within this space between the uh, vertical and horizontal members of the framing. And then on top of it, what will be done is that the plywood of that particular size will be cut to that shape and it will be nailed to the members. So let us see how the plywood is now going to look like when it is put in position. So if we see how the plywood has been placed. You will see that these are the individual ply uh, members which are there and you will see that they will obviously have a joint at the center of each of these frames. So as you can see here the distance from here to the center of the next frame will be 610 mm and from here to here it will be uh, 1220 that is the size of the width of the plywood that is available. So like that you will be providing these uh, plywood pieces and on top of the plywood you will be pasting the veneer and that would form the final finish of this uh, paneling. So if we consider that this uh, particular member of this plywood, uh, uh, we can possibly uh, see that it can also be moved out. Maybe I'll just try it out here. So I can see that, see, this is how the plywood piece will be. And this plywood piece will be uh, just placed here and it would be uh, nailed into the framing. Now how thick would this member be required? So normally about 12 mm thick plywood should be sufficient for paneling and then above that you will require about 4 mm for the veneer which is going to be pasted afterwards. So first you will have 12 mm plywood which will be nailed onto the frame and then on top of it we will put the 12 mm veneer uh, sorry 4 mm veneer or you can paste a laminate 
the laminate could be just about 1 mm thick. So that depends upon your design. So I hope this is clear to you that uh, how this paneling is done. Now before the paneling is done, before the or rather before you put the insulation and the plywood, you will have to put all these uh, concealed pipes as I told you for the electrical work and all that. As you can see there is an electrical switchboard here. So possibly from somewhere this conduit has come here and it is concealed behind the paneling. So that will have to be completed before you provide the insulation and then provide the plywood. Now there are some issues which are important here that when you provide the paneling, for example now here you will see that there is a window. So when we are thinking about the window, what would happen is that obviously you will have to cover the gap here at the window here on the side of the window and at the top of the window. That gap would be created because now you are going to have a additional paneling in front of the wall. So what is done is that after this is completed, a sill piece is added. Uh, maybe it could be a granite piece like it has been shown here. Horizontal one at the bottom, then two vertical pieces at the jams and maybe another piece at the top at the lintel level to form a sort of a frame and this frame would slightly project outside the paneling as has been shown here you can see it so this would be kept slightly projecting out so that all the paneling is properly covered by using this type of a frame or placing a frame around the window this could be as i said out of granite it could be out of plywood so or timber so that depends upon your design again. So these are the different uh, important things that you should uh, note when you are thinking about uh, the paneling. Now let us try to see uh, how this is going to be seen from the door point of view. So as you can see here the door is there and this door is fixed to the frame of the door. The frame of the door is made out of again plywood pieces as you can see from this side. You will see that there will be two plywood pieces one and then another one on top which will form a ribet on all sides of this uh, door. So if you go and see the x-ray view you will see that this ribet is going to be formed or what I can do is possibly uh, hide this uh, door so that you can see how the ribet has been created here so you will see here that there is one piece of plywood and then another piece of plywood to create a ribet and then within this ribet uh, you will be having the door so this will be the door and then the door would be made out of maybe a glass or it could be a panel or whatever so that again depends upon the design so those details will be as per your design again the outside of the door has also been finished by giving it a sort of a cover from outside so this is a sort of a cover molding or architrave which has been provided around the door to make it match with the door and to see that the joints between the plywood and the wall are properly covered by using such type of members. So I hope uh, this uh, lecture was clear about paneling. So this paneling was a typical standard plywood paneling which is done. So the questions uh, as far as your exam is concerned could be asked that why you are providing a panel then why you are uh, what are the uh, advantages disadvantages of uh, providing the paneling so such type of questions can be asked what are the materials which you can use for the finishes uh, so this is a type of question which could be coming in your exam for paneling then another thing which could be asked is about the framing how the framing is provided 
and at what distance the framing is provided what relation it has to the uh, size of the plywood and so on so i hope this is clear to you if you have any queries you can get back to me and ask your questions by sending me a mail thank you